So wildfire and water are intrinsically connected in a lot of, lot of ways. Principally, the biggest driver to fire behavior is fuel moisture. So the level of moisture you have across the landscape is going to determine how fast your fire is spreading, how intense it's burning, or what types of fuels it's burning into. Fire also affects hydrology fundamentally across watersheds. And in fact, we're seeing some high severity burns here in New Mexico. And the next big worry we're having following these fires are floods and changes to the hydrologic cycle. When a fire moves through the landscape, it changes the soil in a way where the soil may not be able to infiltrate water as, as easily as it did before, or the soil won't absorb the rain falling across the landscape. And there's a lot of reasons why this happens. And the first that you hear about is something called hydrophobicity. And all hydrophobicity means is that it's changing the way the water interacts with the soil and in fact, it's like, it's the same process as you have when you wax your car. You're changing the wet, wetting angle of a droplet of water. And so when you wax your car and you see that the water beat up on your car and roll off, it's the same type of process. That water beads up on that hydrophobic soil and washes off and causes erosion. But then there are other processes that continue to perpetuate uh, floods and high flow events. And those include when you have rain hitting the soil because there's no vegetation to intercept that rain, it moves little particles and those little particles clog up the pores of the soil. And that means that the water can't infiltrate as fast and you get run off again. Because of all this initial uh, erosion is you've moved all your soil off the landscape and moved it around. And now you're left with bedrock or rockier soils that have trouble um, infiltrating water as well. We have to acknowledge that it's a complex processes that are changing fast in time. And in fact, the scientific studies that are out there have found a lot of uh, uncertainty in this, a lot of variability. There's a lot we don't know about how megafires will change water resources across these newly burned catchments. And that's because for at least a long time, we haven't seen fires of this size across this much of the West. But what we can say is it will have a really big effect to hydrology, watersheds, erosion, as well as we will likely see more floods following the wildfire and we'll see a degradation in water quality, at least in the short term.